up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Okay, so what happened was a few videos back in this one, I was looking for shoes in Mini Brands Fashion Series 3. I'm not talking about Mini Brands sneakers, we have those right here. Name brand sneakers in miniature that also come with a bunch of stickers. They're a little big for our classic Barbies. Some might be doable with a curvy, but not an easy fit for a Ken doll. So that was Mini Brand Sneakers, but I'm looking for Mini Brands Fashion Series 3 shoes. And it came to my attention at the end of the last video, there are different capsules. These say 60 plus iconic minis to collect. When we open them up, we get two bags and a collector's guide. On the collector's guide, we have cats, a backpack, purses, lots of purses, hats, nails. On the back, we have lipstick, scarves, glasses, headbands, bow ties is what my understanding is. Then we have earrings, necklaces, and other stuff and more cats, no shoes. Then we just open the bag to see the purse. That's a double. That is still a pretty nice bag. Then we have the accessories where we get a necklace, earrings, a bow tie, and press-on nails. But now there are capsules that say 80 plus iconic minis to collect. Oh yeah. They were $9.99, I got them at Target and they were mixed in with the ones that said 60, so I had to kind of search through to get the ones that said 80, at my store anyway. All right now, I am counting on there being some shoes in these round capsules that I wish were cubes. And yes, I am gonna say that every video. So here is the collector's guide. It's the moment of truth. Are there shoes on this collector's guide? Yes, there are shoes. But this says ultra rare. We need to go down to common and see purses. Okay, lots of bags and shoes. <laughs> There's like six different pair right here. Oh wait, we should probably keep going. <gasps> yes, there are 15 pairs of shoes. On the back, those are the same, 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 same. Shoes, okay, so we have four more down here. Let's open the bags. Opening the first one, and we have, ah, uh, it's the pink can. So it's a little paint can purse. It has blue details and the top does open. Alrighty. And the accessories are, what? Another, another paint can? Are there shoes inside? No, what? That's my luck. <laughs> I finally got the capsules that have shoes and I end up with two of these paint can purses. <laughs> okay, all right. That was like a lot of buildup, a lot of hype, and then we, we got that. Okay, it's all right, it's all right. We have another one, let's do it again. This one says 80 plus. We're gonna open it. I have two bags. They don't feel like paint cans. Let's open the first one. And we got the pink purse. Again, it's just like the white one, only pink. Second bag, tiny bit nervous. And we have shoes, yes! It's a tiny pair of shoes with laces, painted details, and they do look wearable. Where are the dolls? Barbie foot on an incline. All right, it stays on, it stays on. Classic Barbie foot with an ankle, yep. Might need some socks, but I think it's doable. Curvy Barbie. Perfect. Yup. Ken. Nope. Sorry. But we can see it has a little separation there. The sneakers have a tongue. That's pretty cool. We also got an ankle bag and a bow tie. Again. So in that capsule, I got a purse. I got a pair of shoes, uh, an ankle bag, and a bow tie. That's four. Unless you're counting each shoe, then it's five. If we're trading nails for a pair of shoes, I am okay with that. Count each shoe. A purse, 
and a pair of shoes that fit my dolls for $10? I'll take it. Now let's compare the shoes. Mini Brands Fashion Series 3 Shoes versus Mini Brands Sneakers versus Real Little Shoes. I got these on Amazon. I'm not sure which series this is, but we're gonna just look at the shoes anyway. And we get a shoe box, tissue paper, and a pair of shoes. The shoes have painted details, they come on a keychain, and have a shoestring. This real little shoe is smaller than the mini brand sneaker. More flexible, a little large on a Barbie, but doable. And it is possible to place one on a Ken doll. But it's really snug, so I don't use them with my Ken dolls. But I know that other people do. Here's the real little shoe compared to the mini brand's Fashion Series 3 sneaker. Wow, it's a lot larger. And here's the mini brand's Fashion Series 3 sneaker compared to the mini brand's sneaker. Let's look for more shoes. This is my third capsule for the ones that say 80 plus. Oh, is that another paint can? Yep, but it's okay. Opening the accessories. And we got more shoes. These are blue heels. Look at that, they're painted. The bottom is a different color. We have clear parts here and some faux feathers and a tiny little buckle. I'm having some difficulties with the buckle. So we're just gonna leave it like that. Here's the shoe on a classic Barbie. I can't get this one on my curvy, but not too bad on a Poppy Parker. Here it is from the other side. Let's try another Integrity Toys doll. Oh wow, the fit is kind of perfect. A purse and shoes for $10 for an Integrity Toys doll. We also got another bow tie and a cat. I can turn the cat's head from side to side and remove it. I love that these shoes can fit our doll Octavia. But I do find these a little difficult to buckle and the faux feathers are kind of just coming off. So you do want to take care. Opening our fourth capsule. I do hope we find the mushroom purse today. Nope, it's the heart. It's a shiny pink heart purse with arrows and a chain. It can open and the shoes, ooh, are little black satin shoes with tool and a bow and they have red bottoms. The details. Here it is on my Poppy Parker. You can see through it, there's a little space between the foot and the shoe, but not bad on a classic made to move Barbie, but do take care when getting it through the tool. I think this one is a little snug on a curvy. I couldn't get the heel all the way in. And same with my Integrity Toys doll. We got a necklace and matching earrings that we can customize with a little nail polish or paint for when we get doubles. I'm gonna let these dry and open our fifth capsule. Hopefully it's the mushroom purse. It's a black and white bag. And we also have some tall faux leather boots. So all of this is fabric. The heel feels like plastic and there's a gold mini fashion logo on the side. I think these are gonna be an easy fit for some of the dolls. This is a classic made to move Barbie. Easy fit, might need some socks. It's a snug fit on the calves of a curvy Barbie, but doable. Here it is on Octavia. I think it works, and it's a little loose on a Poppy Parker with inclined feet. We got the faux leather belt and some press-on nails, so they are still around. And that capsule was super coordinated. Everything went together. And the mini brand's belt works great on my Integrity Toys doll. But now that we've mentioned socks, I totally want to make some using socks. I quickly sketch a little pattern. I added a little seam allowance and cut it out. Place it on the fold of a sock and cut it out. Open it up. I fold over the top edge, then stitch going across using a back stitch where we go through the fabric, pull the needle, and then we're gonna go back through before the previous stitch. Pull the needle, then move up and go through the fabric again, then go back. 
and my stitches aren't incredibly neat so it's good that this is a busy fabric and this stitch allows the sock to still have some stretch then we just fold it in half so the good side is on the inside and then we just back stitch going down the edge all the way to the toe I made sure my stitches were secure then we can flip it inside out to make a sock for our dolls and I'm gonna place it on my Barbie make a second one to keep those plastic toesies nice and cozy these socks are a little large now you can always adjust the seam allowance to make them tighter but I'm gonna take this super fluffy sock and make another pair of socks at the top edge now these socks do unravel pretty easily so you have to make sure your stitches are very secure to make some miniature fluffy socks I place them on the doll then add the other sock to make fluffy warm reading socks for the dolls that we can change back into regular socks whenever we want and we can make them longer if we want to see them out of the top of the boots I'm probably going to keep mine just as reading socks I've seen them have a number of different names from book socks to fuzzy socks to Sherpa socks but you get the idea and our new red necklace and earrings are done as we get ready to open our last mini brands fashion series 3 capsule and we got shoes in all of them that say 80 plus well except for the one that came with two paint can purses and if they're not paint cans I do apologize we're opening our last one Ugh, I get this black purse all the time I just want to see the mushroom purse but we might have some shoes and yes we do it's another set of black boots but these are different the shoes are plastic it has laces going all the way up those laces are real a painted zipper and here's the bottom of the shoe even though this shoe feels like plastic it is flexible it looks like the tongue can come forward I think it totally works on a classic Barbie there is a little bit of room in there so you can probably lace them up or just wear socks it seems almost perfect on a curvy here it is on my Poppy Parker feels pretty stable and works perfect on my other Integrity Toys doll Little Miss Octavia we also got a bracelet and some earrings overall I am very happy with these shoes most of them look pretty good on Barbies and Integrity Toy dolls I'm loving that we get shoes and a purse and a capsule I hope it's everyone if so I will totally be adding more to my collection thank you for joining us while we took a look at shoes and made socks like comment share and subscribe don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff the frog vlog and Bella of my froggy stuff and we will see you next time bye